G'day ladies and gentlemen, how are you all doing? Scotty D49 here with you once again for another installment in our Warhammer 40,000 for the new guy series. Now in this series, we're going to be covering a lot of things about every single faction of the game. And in today's video, I'm going to continue to look at the Space Marines where we're going to talk about the pros and cons of collecting them as a faction for the game of Warhammer 40,000. But before we jump into the video, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below if you want to catch more of this series as we keep on bringing out more videos as there's a lot to cover on every single faction in the game, as well as catching all the other content that I'm releasing out here on YouTube. But ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so the pros and cons of the Space Marines are to give you a bit of an idea of not only how the army can be played in your games, but also what they are like to collect, so that you've got a bit of an idea of what you're getting into, not just gameplay-wise, but also miniature collecting and all that side of stuff in terms of assembling models and potentially painting them as well. We may even touch on that in these pros and cons. So that's something to keep in mind. But we're gonna start off with the three pros of the Space Marines. And so the first pro that they are, is they are a jack of all trades faction. Now, the Space Marines have the ability to field a unit or multiple units that is able to actually perform as the similar or same function or role in an army as several others. You can have an army that has got a solid amount of firepower, mobility, close combat, psychic powers, buffing abilities, or just have a good mix of all of those army elements to be able to create the army that you want to play and have fun with on the table. So you could say, take only a couple of those elements. You say you want some mobility, close combat and buffing abilities. You can do that with Space Marines or you could go, I want good psychic powers, firepower and mobility. You can also do that as well. The second pro of collecting Space Marines is they are quite a forgiving army to play. Now, Space Marines allow for a certain degree of mistakes to be made when, within the game when you are playing them without being overly detrimental to your overall game plan and your army because they have a solid baseline level of toughness, armor save, and number of wounds, which means that you need to take a decent amount of effort to deal with your units. So your opponents have to deal a lot of close combat damage or a lot of firepower to wipe out individual units off the battlefield. Now, most Space Marine units are at least toughness for two wounds with a three up armor save base. You look at say Tactical Marines or Intercessors, which are two of your troop options you have, they have got those stats and you put a 10 man unit down, they're gonna be quite difficult to shift in one turn without dedicating a lot of firepower from your opponent's army to do so. So it's gonna mean that you're gonna have more units on the table and they're gonna last a bit longer so you can make those mistakes as you're learning the game and still have things on the battlefield. The pr third pro, of collecting Space Marines is that there is a variety of units that do similar roles, very similar tying into the Jack of All Trades Pro. So Space Marines have got a wide variety of different units that you're able to take in your army that will perform the similar, if not same, function within your army. As previously mentioned, you've got that variety of units to choose from for mobility or your different types of firepower, whether it be anti-infantry or anti-tank or anti-light vehicle heavy infantry. There's a, a lot of different ways you can break down firepower. Um, also close combat units and different types of buffing abilities from captains having auras or lieutenants having auras or chaplains giving out litanies to units, or even psychic powers from librarians. Now, depending on whether you're wanting to just run non-primera Space Marines, or purely primera Space Marines, or a mix of both, will affect the amount of units you'll have to choose from for each of these factors. So just bear that in mind, that if you are wanting to solely play, say, primaris, there are only going to be a couple of units to do the same kind of role, whereas if you do solely non-primaris, same thing again, but if you combine the two and do both non-primaris and primaris, your variety does open up quite significantly. That's all of the pros for Space Marines, as I'm only covering the top three pros and cons of each faction, as we talked about in the intro. Now, we're gonna jump in to the three cons of Space Marines, and the first one's probably gonna take you back a little bit. It's that, number one, they're a jack of all trades. 
So this means that instead of being oh, just a pro, it's also a con. Now you're thinking, wait, why? Why is it a, both a pro and a con here? And I'll explain it to you. So unfortunately, Space Marines being jack of all trades as an army means they're not overtly strong in any specific area function or role. Depending on the style of list you build, you may find that you're weaker in particular areas when you prioritize being stronger in others. So if, say for example, you're taking more firepower at the sacrifice of close combat ability, or you're taking psychers as opposed to taking other characters that have similar buffling abilities like a chaplain. So it means that your opponents can potentially stop your psychic powers, whereas they have very little opportunity to stop your chaplain's litanies, for example. So this is something that you'll need to keep in mind when you're buying models that you want to put into an army or just wanting to use in general. That way you're not buying things that you don't necessarily think, oh, I thought they were going to do X in my games, but really they're clashing with this other unit that I want to take. Keep that in mind. Now, a lot of people do collect a lot of Space Marines as well over time so you will get a lot of different models and you can kind of swap out and swap in what you do want to use but starting off with the army you're definitely going to want to keep this in mind number two is an overwhelming number of options now you're like well hang on that's very similar to what we covered in the pros where you've got a wide variety of options yes it is very similar to the Jack of Trades as we've just covered. With Space Marines being such a big focus of Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop and then putting a lot of models into the range for them, it means that they actually have a lot of kits and different units to choose from to take in your games. Unfortunately, this means that you could be overwhelmed with the amount of options that you have and what you want to take in your army and pick up to add to your collection. This also does translate into the number of options that some Space Marines units can actually take. Say, take Stern Guard Veterans or Vanguard Veterans. There's a lot of different options that are there to take for those units. However, this is more the non-Primaris units rather than the Primaris units that do have this issue currently. But the Primaris units do still have some options to them, but not as much the extent of the non-Primaris models. And then number three for the cons is Firstborn and Primaris Space Marines. Now, there's some significant difference between non-Primaris, also referred to as Firstborn Space Marines, which is why I've stated it as Firstborn versus Primaris in some ways. Uh, and primary space marines that widely impact how you build your models as well as construct your army list, which we've already touched on in con number two. Firstborn space marines have got a wide variety of units that have quite a large variety of options that you can take for them and the good thing with them as well and there is some good stuff in the primaris range for this as well is you can do a lot of kit bashing primaris less so regular space marines there's a lot of variety to swap uh, weapon options and shoulder pads and equipment across tactical marines, assault marines, devastators, stern guard veterans and vanguard veterans. That's five kits that have got a lot of pieces in all of them and you can swap them across. And that's only five of them. There's a couple more kits that you can throw in there as well that will add to the amount of bits you have to add to those kits. Whereas in comparison to Primaris Space Marines, they haven't got as many units that you can choose from, as well as having a smaller number of options when building the miniatures and options that you can take in your army lists. Now this is, whilst yes we are touching on several points I've already touched on, it is still pertinent because the Primaris have got more limited options than what the Firstborn Space Marines do. So it's always going to be important to keep this in mind when you are adding either Firstborn units or Primaris Space Marine units to your collection to use in your games. Each will have a variety of different purposes for what you're wanting to do. And most people will often take a combination of both Primaris and non-Primaris in general. But ladies and gentlemen, that covers it for all the pros and cons of the Space Marines.
Alrighty, everyone. Well, I hope that you did enjoy this video and me going through my top three picks of the pros and cons for Space Marines. Now, if you do disagree with me or you have any other pros and cons that you would like to mention, feel free to let me know down in the comments below as well as feel free to hit that like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already as well. And if you do want to discuss this further, feel free to come and find me when I'm live over on Twitch on Tuesday and Friday nights and Saturday afternoons, Australian Eastern Standard Time, where we do all manner of hobbying sessions, tabletop wargaming tournament coverage, as well as live games as well from time to time. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll catch you in the next video.